Well, let's get more on this now from Chris Jones in London. He's VP and Chief Analyst at the global tech market analyst firm Canalys. Welcome to the program. There's no doubt that this would be a, quite a revolutionary way to beat the traffic, particularly in Los Angeles. I'm wondering, will this prototype have any chance of becoming reality? Hi there. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's got a chance, you know. I mean, it's, it's early days. This is something that Elon Musk... Um, first announced a couple of years ago. So to have a mile-long test tunnel up and running for, for, for demonstration purposes in only a couple of years is pretty impressive. Um, it could be a vision as, as, as what, what could be possible underneath our major cities around the world in the future. Um, it, it will take some time. Obviously, any city transportation initiative probably takes years to make a decision and then years to complete. So we're, you know, we're, we're talking many years away, but this is a, a great first step to, to show really what is possible. Yes, and we also know that uh, the, another billionaire, Richard Branson, is working on what he's called the Hyperloop. Uh, explain to us the difference between yeah. what Branson's proposing and what Elon Musk has here. Sure. So, you know, Elon Musk through SpaceX, they're also working on Hyperloop. So Hyperloop is an above ground tube, vacuum um, tube, where pods would be pushed through the tube at, at you know, extremely high speeds. And these are above ground, as I mentioned. And this is really connecting cities, you know, two cities to, to each other. Um, the tunnel, the boring company tunnel initiative is really you know, for tunnels underneath the city to get from one side of a city to another much faster, to get into a central hub or to a, a, a soccer stadium or a, um, an airport or a, you know, you know, a, a sports arena, another kind of sports arena, much more efficiently. There could be many layers of tunnels. There could be many lanes of tunnels. There could be, you know, Elon Musk is talking about 100 deep, 100 tunnels deep and many, many um, lanes of these tunnels as well. And, and the main difference is one could drive one's own car, albeit an autonomous electric vehicle in the future, but you could drive your own car into one of these uh, tubes. You would go down an elevator from the street level into your tube and off you'd go through the tube um, and arrive at the other, other at the destination, get the elevator back up to road level and then continue your journey on the road. So that, that's the major difference. These are, you know, road cars, you know, using a tunnel underneath the city compared to an above ground tunnel where pods are pushed through at extremely high speeds. Interesting. We know Elon both Musk... Could, both could coexist. Mm. Okay. They uh, could coexist and, you know, the, the loops of these tunnels could end up at the Hyperloop entrance, for example. Mm. Uh, we also know that Elon Musk has changed the way things are sent into space. He's changed the way power can be generated. Uh, do you think this in itself is a game changer that, as well? Again, it's early days and, and even Elon Musk and, and, the, the, and the guys at the Boring Company are saying they're not sure whether you know, it, it's something that is uh, you know, really going to work going forward. But you know, they've, they have you know, he has revolutionized the, 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 the automotive market. He's probably got the most um, powerful and uh, valuable car company in the world after just a few years. He's launched, landed and relaunched rockets into space. Um, and you know, Hyperloop, is, Hyperloop is another initiative and then the Boring Company is his latest. And, you know, truly a visionary and he gets things done. He, he, he does, get, does get products and initiatives launched. So you can commend him on that at least. You know, whatever people think of him and his claims and his, his ambitions, um, you know, he gets things done and he, you know, they have built um, a fast, boring machine, faster than any other tunnel making machine mm. that's been around up to now. Um, they've created this tunnel in a few months. Um, yes. And this is something that cities should evaluate over the coming years. Okay, Chris Jones, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you again for your time.